Hi, Ria. Hi, Ria. Hi, Ria. Say hi for the camera. Say hi to the camera. All right. So we've got a new addition to the homestead here. This is Ria. This is our new goat that we've gotten. Uh, she is a Nubian, or sorry, a Togenberg Nubian or a Togenberg Alpine. We're not really sure exactly what she is. Um, but you may be asking why we got another goat. Well, if you've been following this channel, uh, you've known that we had three goats all along, and uh, one of which was a Nigerian dwarf pygmy goat. Uh, she was a good goat. She was a go goat. She cleaned up what she needed to clean up. However, she wasn't exactly w what we wanted. Um, when we purchased all our three goats last year, they came as a package and uh, we had our uh, buck, which is William, who is a boar uh, cross and he, uh, we also have Mama, uh, who is a boar Nubian and then we had uh, June and she was our pygmy. Uh, she was pregnant this past winter and she did well, um, however, we found that uh, she did not, um, she was not very easy for milking and her milk production wasn't that the greatest either. And because she was a small uh, goat to begin with, she wasn't really good for meat either. And so what we ended up doing was we found a gentleman who actually uh, buys eggs from us and um, who has his own homestead as well. And uh, he raises his own pigs and um, his own goats and chickens, all that stuff. And we asked him if he would um, buy one or if we could buy one from him. And um, he was like, well, I'm sorry, I kind of want them on the homestead right now. And so we gave him an offer that we would trade our pygmy uh, goat for, for uh, Rhea here. And uh, he thought about it and he decided, you know, why not? And uh, so we went, or I went into town with our pygmy goat, dropped her off, and luckily the gentleman, our friend, was just finishing up uh, milking her mother. And um, out of one milking in the morning, he got uh, almost one gallon of milk. Now, mind you, the milk is not the same quality as uh, what we get from Mama in the sense that it, is not, it did not taste as fatty as, the, as Mama's milk, but uh, it was still delicious and we liked the fact that she was giving out uh, quite an abundance and he was saying that he sometimes gets up to a gallon and a half in her peak times, which is phenomenal. So. Even though it's not the same amount of fat in the milk, we can still make our butter, we can still make our cheeses, uh, we can still make other byproducts from milk, and on top of that, we can drink the milk raw as it is, which I enjoy myself. So, um, she is only three months old, and she has been weaned off, so she is grazing around the property, uh, and so she will be growing for a while now. Uh, we're not going to breed her 
uh, th at all this year. We're probably gonna wait till she gets one full year in her before we start breeding her. That way we don't hinder any of her growth. Um, the size that she's gonna be is a little bit smaller than what Mama is because the Togenbergs are a smaller goat to begin with, but she will be almost as big as Mama. And if you're not sure who Mama is, let me show you over here. So Mama is the white goat back there. That's William, our boar. Uh, Mama currently right now, if you can see her, uh, let's go. Yeah, she's a little wide out there. So Mama right now identifies as not pregnant, but she's pregnant, clearly. And we're looking to uh, for her to uh, burst almost any day now and uh, then we'll start getting our milk production back up because she did stop uh, producing uh, since just shortly after the new year so just a quick little update um, goats are great this one's a little a uh, bit of a, a shit right now because she's just trying to run everywhere. She's a little yappy when I leave her side just because uh, she has her sense of security with me. Uh, Mama at the beginning was a little, how should I say, a little sketchy suspect of her and would start to um, ram her a little bit or butt heads with um, Rhea here. But over the past week that we've had her on the homestead here, Mama has really um, warmed up to her. I'm not sure if uh, she just has some protective instincts because Mama is pregnant. And uh, here, let me just show you exactly how big Mama is here so that you can understand. All right, here's Mama. She's got a belly on her right now. Uh, William's kind of being a little jealous at the moment and that's how it is. He just came out of rut uh, probably a couple days ago and um, he wasn't happy for the longest time because uh, we were keeping them apart. Mama wasn't having any of him. Uh, plus he stunk like he wouldn't believe he was pissing all over himself. But that's the beauty of having these goats. So once again, here's, here's Rhea right next to me here. So yeah, this is Rhea. You'll be seeing her in more of the homesteading videos that are coming up. Uh, look, she's just wanting the love, wanting the love. Yeah, so you'll be seeing her floating around in our uh, YouTube videos. Uh, so yeah, just a quick update. The uh, goat situation is a lot better now. We are one up because if you ask me, we got a plus out of this one. So talk to you later.